Good morning, everyone. It is currently 5.30 a.m. I just got to the Dallas-Fort Worth airport for our trip today. No, bus, don't leave me. I was trying to get out of my car super quick so I could grab the bus at that bus stop, but I think I can just walk to the next one. Y'all, these early sign-ins, man, they get to me. I feel like I'm dragging a little bit today. It's taking me a while to wake up, but I only have two flights today, so that's good. Well, and then I have one more flight tonight to Philadelphia, so I can go be with Eric and Luna, but I'm not working that flight. I'm just like a passenger. Okay, I can definitely get on it this time. I needed to take a second to have the first sip of coffee. Oh, that's still super hot. There is a Starbucks in front of me, and for once, the line doesn't actually look excruciatingly long. I think I might hop over there and grab some breakfast, but I do need to sign in for my trip right now and get my life together and figure out what gate I'm going out of. Also, it is freezing in here. Why are airports always so cold? Okay, I am signed in for my trip now, actually 16 minutes early. That is awesome. And I think since I am here early, I'm gonna go try and grab some breakfast. Normally the line for Starbucks is like all the way out to here, but today it actually stops here. So hopefully I have time to grab something to eat. Yay! Thank you. I feel better that I was able to grab some food. Now I can walk over to my gate. Oh, I was gonna tell you all too that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just all over the place. Um, I'm gonna wait a little bit to eat my sandwich because I burnt my tongue on my coffee, so that's kind of annoying, but whatever. Anyways, um, I'm heading over to my gate. We are doing a Las Vegas turn today, so we'll be flying from Dallas to Las Vegas and then Las Vegas right back to Dallas. If you ever come to the Dallas-Fort Worth Airport, Take the walkway between Terminal C and A. I always love coming over here. During the daytime especially, you can see all of the aircrafts and it's such a pretty view. Walking down the jippers to get to our flight. Made it on board our beautiful Airbus aircraft this morning. I just finished checking all of my emergency equipment and doing my pre-flight checks. Everything looks great. We have about 10 or 15 minutes before we start boarding, so I'm gonna try to eat my sandwich quickly. As you all know, I usually always get the sausage, egg, and cheddar sandwich from Starbucks in the morning. And ever since the lines at Starbucks have been super long, I haven't been getting this often. I actually think it's been a few months since I've had this for breakfast. I am going to quickly scarf my sandwich down and then we are going to start boarding this flight to Las Vegas. So I'll see you all either in Las Vegas if I have time or when I get back to Dallas. flight was smooth. It was two hours and 18 minutes. We actually got in early, which is super nice. We just landed in Las Vegas. It looks like it is a gorgeous day out here today. We have about 20 minutes until we start boarding for our flight back to Dallas. So right now I'm just hanging out and we'll wait for the passengers to get here. Once everyone is boarded up, we'll be on our way back to Dallas. <music> made it back to Dallas, safe and sound. Real quick, I am heading over to our crew room right now so I can heat up my lunch, and then I'm gonna run over and catch my flight to Philadelphia. This is what I brought for lunch. It's some leftover chicken pasta. I just warmed it up, and we have about 20 minutes till we board, so I have enough time to eat. sweetheart good morning baby are you sleepy today first thing she does she grabs something out of my suitcase to carry around with her you got my sweater today yeah you like carrying all of my stuff huh Luna you're just living up to your name of being a golden retriever emphasis on the retriever part Eric and I went and Luna <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Thank you. I don't know why you're giving me all these kisses now, but thank you. Okay, anyways, Eric and I... <laughs> Thanks, Luna. Okay, she's done now. Eric and I went and worked out this morning, and now Luna is helping me edit a video for YouTube. <laughs> 
I think someone missed me. She has not left me alone for two seconds since I've been back here. Hi, sweetheart. I missed you too. I want to get a little bit more editing done on my laptop and then I'll take Luna out to play. I promised her that since she's been so good and helped me, she'll get extra frisbee time today. Okay, what do we think? I just bought this new brown workout set from Gymshark. I feel like brown is going to be a really hit color for this fall. Like, I think it's going to be super popular. I've never really bought brown clothes, but I think I like it. Miss Luna is always by my side. You are just so pretty, baby girl. I promise we'll go out to play soon. Luna is eagerly waiting for me now to take her out. Okay, let's go. Let's go play. You can tell that fall is right around the corner because all the leaves are dropping. I would give you all a little bit of an update. So as most of you know, me, Eric, and Luna were only supposed to be here in Pennsylvania for the summer. However, a few years ago, Eric hurt his foot really bad while playing soccer in Brazil, and he just has not been able to go see a doctor since then. Life has just gotten in the way, and then the pandemic happened, so we didn't really want to go to hospitals or doctors unless we absolutely had to. Long story short, Eric was finally able to get an MRI on his foot, and oh my gosh, there's like flies around me. He was able to get all of that done here in Pennsylvania over the summer. He has an appointment in two or three days to get his MRI MRI results back. If he needs surgery, then I think he's definitely going to stay here longer because if he needed surgery for him to get that in Dallas with me potentially being gone as a flight attendant, if he had any sort of complications, that could definitely cause some issues. So I think it would just be better for him to get the surgery here and be around his family. That's like the main reason why we're still here. Also, we have to figure out a time to drive back <laughs> because for the month of October, I of course requested weekends off on reserve and I didn't get a single one. That might cause an issue because Eric works during the week. He's not like me where my job has odd hours and I just work random days of the month. Even though he's worked from home, he still has to be online working nine to five every day and make his meetings. He needs to be able to have like full internet access during the week. The time that he could drive back to Dallas would be over the weekends. And since I didn't get any weekends off, I'm not sure what we're going to do. I think I'm gonna try to fly as much as I can for the month of October, max out early on my hours and then maybe we could drive back then. Lots of little complications and stuff going on, but like Luna, we're just gonna take everything one day at a time as it comes, and I know everything will work out. I decided to go on a little walk just so I could get some more steps in and get some more exercise today, but I did want to tell you all the quote of the day. It is, Courage is never to let your actions be influenced by your fears. I think what the quote is saying is there's a lot of things in life that we are going to be scared of. You might be scared to ask for that promotion at work. You might be scared to ask that girl or boy out on a date. You might be scared to take that trip of a lifetime. You might be scared to start a YouTube channel. You might be scared to quit your job or apply for a new job. You might be scared to have children. You might be scared to buy a house. There's a lot of things in life that are super scary, but we cannot let our fear of the unknown and the fear of things potentially going wrong to stop us from doing that. I will give you a personal example. I was so scared to start a YouTube channel. I began vlogging and uploading on YouTube a little over two years ago, and my first video got like 25, maybe 30 views. It is really scary to put yourself out there and to be vulnerable, but you just have to keep at it, especially if it's something that you truly believe in. Even to this day, I sometimes get scared to upload certain videos. I get nervous about what you all as my viewers might think because I don't want to let any of you down. I want to make sure that I'm providing good, wholesome and inspiring, but also truthful and accurate content. But if I didn't start my channel because of the fear of the unknown or the fear of what others might negatively think about me online, I wouldn't have almost 100,000 of you as 
not only my subscribers, but what I consider my online friends. And I feel like we have just built such an amazing online community through that one decision that I made to start a YouTube channel. So if you have a decision to make, be courageous, go for it. You got it. I believe in you. I love you. I don't have much else to say. So what I will conclude with is just saying thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting me and for watching this video and just continuing to be here on my channel. You all really do mean so much to me. I hope you're having a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.